Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are playing Grenada here in the Open Universalis 4. Last episode, we beat the crap out of Vaginagar. Yes, we punched them in the vagina. And uh, they, they're they not down for the count, but they're going to be a lot weaker now. We made them lose all their allies. Oh, they did get a new guy, Nepal, which is fucking hilarious. Uh, Nepal, do you have any claims on Bengal? No. Come on, go get a claim on Bengal. Oh, you can't. It's their capital. Never mind. Go get a claim on Tibet. Anywho, Delhi joined a coalition against us, which includes Delhi and, uh, and also Delhi. So they're not exactly a threat, but they are in a coalition against us. I think we should go to war with them again soon when this truce runs out. Just so we can make them release some more nations. Kangra, Kashmir, whatever else is available. Make them spit them out so they're smaller. Uh, VJ, I need to go to war with him again once our truce is up so that we can get more lands for our vassal, Bamanis. And I think I do want to start annexing Malwa. As much as I like having them as a vassal, they're a great little strong buddy to have, and their tech is pretty good. Uh, I, I also don't like that they're in my way. I can't really get a claim on Kandesh. Oh, I'm never. I'm not going to be able to get a claim on Kandesh, am I? Because that's their goddamn capital. I can't fabricate on it. Shoot. Well, we'll at least be able to declare war on Barar. I need to border people. I don't border anyone right now. Everyone I border is either people that I've already truced out or is my vassal. Seriously. We truced out Delhi. We truced out VJ. We truced out Miwat. I get, no, that's not true. Yeah. Miwat. I could declare war on Miwat. No, I can't. I have a truce. Of course. Of course I have a truce. All right. When's our truce up with Delhi? Mm, June. All right. So we're annexing Jaunpur right now. When can we do you? Two more years. All right. We'll keep relations going up. Keep it going, baby. Keep it going, baby. Have our 14K army with an awesome, awesome general. Let me kill my other general, because he sucks. Oh my god, we have 98 tradition right now. Yeah, get another general. Oh yeah, look at that shock. Here, split this army. Oh my goodness. So we have a 5-3 and a 2-5. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, I love these two generals. We have such good army tradition right now. Why? Because we fight battles all the time. However, this is going to decay five points per year. And that sucks. That just means we need to go to war again. Man, five points per year. That's a lot of decay. But we have our generals now. And the generals don't decay five points per year. What should we do with our last diplomat? You need a hug? Yeah, the Timrids need a hug. Let's guarantee them. And we'll get relations back up. Oh man, having Bamanis as a vassal is just awesome. So we can feed them so much land. Okay, good. What about the Ottomans? Have they changed their opinion of us yet? Or are they still neutral? Still neutral. Yeah, we can't get an alliance while they're neutral. We have a marriage, but we can't ally them while they're neutral. They just won't. They're too far away. Maybe we could start beating up on Omen. Oh, Kara pieced out. Damn. I was going to say we could beat up on Omen while uh, Kara Kunu is getting their shit kicked out of them. Because then they probably wouldn't help. But it looks like, nah, we can't right now. Oh, we need to rebuild our little fleet, huh? We have uh, a whopping five ships available. So let's build five barks. We can actually start. Uh, oh, we don't have any money. But yeah, we need some trade patrolling ships. Why not? John Poor will annex in 30 years, apparently, because of our high war exhaustion. Ah, don't worry about it. War exhaustion goes away. Right? <laughs> Yeah, that takes a long time. Without a statesman and with war exhaustion, that takes a while. Is there a statesman available? There is not. All right. Well, no biggie, I guess. We just got to be patient. And enjoy our coffee. Fuck. 
France is looking mighty strong over here, and Austria... Austria's doing okay. They haven't lost any of their lowlands yet. But I get the feeling they will. I get the feeling we're going to see a, a Netherlands spawn in this game. Let's see, Brittany's allied with Savoy. That's not going to help them against France. Portugal's only ally is Castile. Castile still hates us. I have no clue why Castile hates us. Historical rival. Oh, that might be it. They have a CB on us? What? How can they have a CB on us? They have Reconquest CB on us. Do you have that mission to go for India? No. How do you have a CB on me? I am very confused. We don't own any land in Europe. How does he have a... I don't know. This has to be a bug. We don't own any lands that he has claims or cores on. No clue. What missions are available? We have form an alliance with Miwat. Create a fleet. Oh, we can create a fleet. Yeah. We have a mission to build some trade ships, so let's do that. And then we'll build some fucking trade ships. Why not? Ooh, yeah, we should probably get rid of some inflation. Worth it. Okay, we're done with the Timmies, and they're still happy with us. Good, good. Bengal, any chance of getting relations back with you? Maybe. I mean, this is going away slowly. 92 Dishonored Alliance. God, isn't that stupid? It should not happen. They specifically stated that wouldn't happen anymore, but it did anyway. It did anyway. Oh, you've allied Malabar. You've allied Malabar while they still had their union over Orissa. But that union is about to break because he's 64. And they have negative prestige. Yep. And now they broke their alliance with Malabar. Well, that was a long-lived alliance. Wow. <laughs> he got an alliance and broke it the very next day. He's like, what? I didn't say that. No alliance. Ooh, the Timurids have disputed succession. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he dies today, the Timurids get my dynasty. Wouldn't that be nice? Having the Timurids in the same dynasty as us go claim their throne? Oh, that'd be beautiful. I don't think we could beat them. But uh, maybe we can get lucky and get their throne? Who knows? Let's get lucky. Let's build more trade ships. Yeah. Get out of here, war exhaustion. No one likes you. And yeah, oh yeah, someone wanted to see accepted cultures map. Every province we own is accepted culture. Sindh is accepted, Rajput, Avadhi, and Gujarati. It's all accepted. I get the feeling, though, once we annex Jaunpur... We're no longer going to accept Sindhi, and I really doubt that we'll accept... What is this culture? Bihari. Yeah, Bihari has exactly two provinces in their culture group. Sindh has two provinces in their culture group. That's just not enough base tax to become an accepted culture, or at least not to stay as an accepted culture. He's accepted for now in Sindh, but that won't last. It will not last. More trade ships, please. Savoy has broken his alliance with Castile. Oh no. Oh no.
Okay, come back from Bengal. Yep. So he still rivaled me. Everyone has me as a rival. No, people are actually removing me from the rival list. Oh, oh yeah, Oman has taken us off his list. Hmm, he's neutral now. Interesting. And the Mamluks are still not annexing Najd. Why not? This, there's a very complex mixture of alliances over here. Basically, everyone is either allied with the, with the Ottomans or the Mamluks. So anytime they go to war, and you can see the Ottomans totally ripped the Mamluks' asshole last war. Look at this. Look at that. They took five provinces from the Mamluks in the last war. But everyone's either allied with the Mamluks or the Ottomans. So everyone goes to war at the same time. Alright, Mal was ready to annex. When can we... Oh, we can do it right now. Good. Do it. And uh, stop improving relations. Let's go... Ottomans, you need a hug? Yeah, Ottomans need a hug. Okay. Alright, so when will John Poor finish? Well, it's going to be a little quicker as time goes on. And VJ should be done annexing Amednagar soon. Mm, a few more years, I guess. Oh, we can start doing buildings. Yes, temples, armories. Oh, get me some fucking armories. Yeah, baby. Oh, we finished our mission to create a fleet. Good. Next mission, claim Gujarat. Form an alliance with Miwat and protect against Delhi. He's got 21 soldiers. I probably won't build 21 soldiers, but I will inherit some soldiers when we annex these guys. Yeah, we'll inherit 14 more guys, so... Um... Sure. Another way we can finish that mission is just to attack Delhi. Del delete their troops. If you destroy their troops, then you finish the mission. Alright, you guys can start patrolling. Mmm. Coffee. Yeah, we can be at peace for a little while. It's not the end of the world. But it does mean our army tradition will drop pretty rapidly. Ooh, yes, manpower dude. Give me the manpower dude. The dude of men and power. Anything that increases your manpower will also increase your rate of recovery of manpower. Oh, Bengal's attacking Arissa, apparently. Yep, okay, Arissa got independent. Congratulations, Arissa. Vinad, okay. He's independent. Oh, he wants an alliance, too. He's allied with Barar. That's his only ally. All right. And Bengal completely annexed Gujar or Garjit. That was quick war. Yep, still have me as a rival, you little jerk. After we've annexed these two guys, we'll go for some new um, vassals. Oman has embargoed me. Did you rival me again? Yep, Psh, that was a short-lived non-rivalry. He's like, wait a minute, I'm forgetting something. I should be rivaling Grenada. That's who it is. Yeah. It's like they just went dumb for a minute. They couldn't remember what they were doing last minute. Oh, well, well, it happens, I guess. Still don't have my dynasty, do you, Timmy's? Well, hopefully he'll just die and get my dynasty. That'd be great. Oh, one second. One second. Oh, I spelled it wrong. How do I spell Grenada wrong? That's amazing. There we go. Open that. Save that. And go. Easy peasy. Just setting up some videos for compression. Hold on. Okay. Go! The Pope ceded Romagna to Austria. Well, really? Austria is invading... He is! Look at Austria go! I have never seen Austria take Romagna off the Pope. Huh. And Milan took some of Switzerland. Look at that. Ha, 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 ha. Wow. 
Europe is weird. Poland took Wallachia. That's sort of normal. Sometimes it happens. Brandenburg's looking nice. Teuton's not looking so nice. <laughs> Marriage policies pay off. Uh, sire, sire, the Herald doesn't even attempt to hide his excitement. Great news, the son of our family is next in line to a foreign throne. Um, but it doesn't tell me where. Seriously, there's no... It's not telling me where, which means it probably is a bug, and it probably didn't actually happen. I can check. Yeah, he has Akkoinlu. He has Shahi. Who else are we married to? Maybe the Ottomans? No, he has Osmanli. Well, who else are we married to? I think that's just a bug. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it could be one of our vassals. Now, who cares what our vassals' dynasty is? Vassals' dynasty doesn't matter. No? no it's none of them. Uh, I, I've checked them all. It's none of them. None of these guys have someone of my dynasty, so... I have no idea. None of them. None of them. That is a really weird bug. <laughs> Marriage policy pays off. Nobody gets your dynasty. Hmm. Infidels. Hell no. Give me that piety, baby. Alright, we're done with the auto derps. Auto derps, go! Auto derps, roll out. And Orissa is just racking up the allies. Wow, what do you have, like four allies now? Well, three. But that's that's a good start for them, that's for sure. Wow. Yeah, we can check for a statesman, I guess. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so now we can integrate a little faster. Get rid of these two wonderful vassals, who I love dearly, but I also want to disappear from the map. Okay, war exhaustion is almost a thing of the past, which means we should probably go to war with Delhi soon, before he gets any wonderful ideas like, I'm a badass, or I want an alliance with someone, because nobody wants Delhi to have allies, and he currently has none. He has claims all over the map, though. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. My coalition is... Yeah, it's just Delhi. Alright. Delhi! Time for war, bro. I'm not even going to invade him. I'm just going to... Whatever. I'll let my vassals do the war. I like how he joins the coalition against me, but no one else does. So he's... Essentially alone. I'm in a coalition with myself. Good for you, Delhi. Oh, Bengal has allied with Atse. Interesting. Yeah, I forgot about that. There's a whole bunch of little nations down here that are all Sunni. I forgot about that. I don't know. Brunei, Atse. I guess Malacca's gone now. But yeah, they're all Sunni, so we could get marriages and alliances with them. It might be nice. I mean, it's not going to be super useful because they're in the Chinese tech group, but it might be nice. Ottomans. Oh, man, I really wish you want an alliance, dude. But we can't do it while we're allied with the Timurids because the Timurids are considered a great power. If we go to the score comparison... Timurids are still in the top 10. They're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They're in the ninth position. Uh, so, can't have two alliances with uh, two nations in the top 10. It's just not allowed. Go, vassals! I love having vassals do wars for you. Now, if we make him spit out Coruscant...
If we make them spit out Coruscant, we can use that to feed a bunch of land in the Timurids. Because Coruscant has some cores, yeah. Well, I guess only a couple. And my vassal Balochistan already has cores here. But... Eh. Actually, yeah, I only see one Coruscant core. Right there, that's it. That's all I see. No, there's another one. Okay, there's another one over here. Why are they so spread out? That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, there's no Khorasani cores on these provinces with Khorasani culture, and I don't know why. I think they're supposed to have cores here. Yeah, Khorasan is the primary is the primary nation of Khorasani culture, and will never lose this province as a core. Well, then why did he lose provinces over here? This they're Khorasani. They shouldn't have lost them, but they did. Well, that's a little silly because that's like five or six. Pro yeah, that's like five or six provinces that have lost Khorasani cores. Huh. That's disappointing. Oh well. England declared the second Scottish subjugation war. Go get them. And go get them, England. You can show those Scots who's boss. Hmm. Free diplomat. What do we need to do? Free diplomat. Who wants a hug? Ottomans are good. Timurids are relatively good. Uh, could do Balochistan, but... Um, yeah, I guess. Why not? Wow, 7 verse 20. Can you win, Malwa? He's like, I'm going to do it. No, you're not. <laughs> and look at John Four. John Four's like, I'm not doing that. You're crazy. <laughs> Get him, John Poor. You can do it, John Poor. Why are you not doing it, John Poor? Oh. Good try. Good try. Good effort. Mm. Balochistan's not having any trouble. He's like, I'm just sieging shit. Oh! He's actually attacking me. Hmm. Oh, my Inquisitor died. That means slower religious conversions. But, I think everyone, everything's already been converted, so that's fine. Alright, let's grab... Um, I just grab the whole army. Give him the five shock. And let's go make Delhi have a bad day. up, Delhi? Oh, we attacked him in Gerd instead. Squish. And we just finished our mission to protect against Delhi. <laughs> just by crushing that one little army. Lol. I'll let my vassals do the rest. Hmm. Did I mention I like coffee? Because I really do. Coffee's amazing. We can bubble another thing. Oh yeah, more reputation. Nice. Wow, these annexations are going at two per month now. Two percent per month. That's crazy fast because our diplomatic reputation is temporarily at 17 because of an event called improve reputation. But yeah, this is a permanent one. It's like having another statesman. Now what did we get? We got uh, cheaper core creation. Okay. Timurids are improving relations with us. That's what I like to see. That negative 126 broke alliance penalty because he broke it, I think, three times he broke it. That's going to take forever to go away. But, meh. Every little bit helps. I think in this war we will take Roe and Kashmir 
just to make sure that uh, nobody's going to fuck with us here in northern India. Because we need all of these provinces, including Ro and Kashmir, for the achievement. So we need to get those two. We'll just do it now. We'll get, I think, 30 aggressive expansion for that. Not that bad. Ow. Mobs target unbelievers. Uh, gain piety. Sounds good to me. I love piety. Get them below Chistan. Delhi has tech 4. Baloch stands tech 6. Baloch stands like, I'm going to kick your ass. And he's got a 3 shock general. Not bad. Versus Delhi's 2 shock general. Yep, Baloch stands going to win this easy. Get him, Baloch stand. Yeah. All up in my grill. Nice. Good job, Baloch stand. You're the best. I wonder how much war score all of Delhi is worth. Like, can we take enough provinces in this war so that we can vassalize him in the next war and just give him everything back? Probably not. The value of these provinces is huge. Like, this one is base tax 11. This one is base tax 7. Base tax 7. Base tax 11. I mean, there's just so much base tax down here. I don't think we can do it in two wars. Oh, Vaginagar is embargoing me. Aww. Isn't that cute? Oh, Miwat has rivaled me. <laughs> really, this guy is an ambitious little fuck. He has rivaled the three biggest Indian states. He has rivaled Vaginagar... Grenada and Delhi. You are really ambitious. Wow. He's like, I've got tech six. Fuck you. Like, yeah, I've got tech six too. And I've got like 40,000 guys. Fuck you, dumbass. <laughs> Ottomans and next Durkadur. Okay. There goes the capital. And now Malwa sieging Kashmir. Good guy Malwa. Siege is the province that I want. more wars in Europe that we don't care about because Europe. Oh, there we go. Ottomans declared war on the Mamluks. So, that's a war with the Mamluks, Najd, Akkoinlu, and Yemen. And it looks like he's not even calling in his allies. He doesn't care. Wow. You really just don't care. Hopefully we don't get call for peace here, but we might, because we have his capital siege down. Huh, Ayad Haya has a peasant's war. Ah, ah, Ayad Haya, sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. Aw, we rejected his peace offer. Why would we do that? Why would you do such a thing? If possible, I'd like to hold on to the war. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I was going to say until people annex, but it doesn't matter. We're not vassalizing anyone. So we don't really need to hold the war. Mm. Almost done with Kashmir. As soon as Kashmir falls, we'll peace. There we go. All right, come back from Balochistan. Let's peace out, baby. So, Senhor Delhi, 
if that is your real name. I want those too. That's only 38. But that is a lot of war that is a lot of aggressive expansion. Timurids only take 15. Uh, but Bengal, Omen, Balochistan, I guess most people don't really care. Bengal's going to be pissed. Bengal might even join the coalition. All right, but we'll do that. And then I want you to release, I don't know, Molten. Uh, it's only one province. Can you release Punjab? No, nope, too much. Uh, Kangra. There you go. You can do that. And Jangladesh. All right. So do that. Just release a bunch of little guys. And that will leave him with... I'll let 22 and 14. That'll leave him with 36 war, 36 base tax left. That's a lot. But in the next war, we can make him spit out uh, Punjab, which will be these two provinces. Yeah. So go ahead and do that. Can't get his trade power, unfortunately. Um, could make him get rid of his core, but I don't really care if he has a core. And he doesn't have any allies to cancel, so okay. Nice. Yeah, that did piss off the Timurids a bit. So let's go back there and smooth things out. It's okay, Timurids. Relax. And uh, let's start coring this crap. Oh, we can't even do this one because it's too far away. We have to core this one first. All right, fair enough. Uh, let's go send our army up there while we core. And Kangaroo wants to be my buddy. But he released as Hindu. Everything is releasing as Hindu because Delhi didn't convert anything because they're lazy little shits. Although they did convert the two provinces that we took. So thank you for converting the two provinces that we took. <laughs> anyway, we do need to end the episode here. Thank you guys for joining me on this, wow, long episode today. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time for further adventures in the land of Grenada. Bye-bye. <laughs>